Hi friends, Mrs. Holzapfel here. So we, it's probably a little different. You can see me without my mask on. So it's probably kind of nice now you can see, see me. Um, but what we're doing today is we're learning about value in class, um, value drawing. So what our first line, your worksheet looks like this. Um, but what you will do, and you will do all of this work, both sheets in pencil. I understand that it shows color here, but we're not using color today. The only thing we will be using is our pencil, possibly our eraser, so no color. So what we will be doing is our, first we'll do our shading value. So we'll do our lighter to darker. So the first square that you work with will go darker and as you graduate down, it will get lighter and lighter. All right? So it's kind of like this. I've shown, here's a little example of what your first square will look like. And you may hold your pencil like this. You may find it more comfortable to hold it like this, but you'll figure out how to use it. This is a way to do it, but not necessarily the way to do it. So you'll just color in your first square the darkest. And as you move down, you'll get lighter and lighter until you reach the very end where your last square here will be its lightest. So you'll just keep pushing down and this square will be a little lighter and this square will even be lighter and this will be your lightest. So darkest to lightest. It shows it here in the red where your darkest is your first square and it just graduates down lighter and lighter. Again, you'll do that in pencil, not in red or any other color, just pencil. The second part of our worksheet, we are learning some techniques. The first technique we are learning, it is called hatch. So our hatch marks are made just like this. And there's an example also that I put in line. It kind of looks like this hatch marks look just like this just small and i'm going to use a marker don't use a marker though you will you will use a pencil but i want you to be able to see this so you will just use small little marks just like that little dashes those are hatch marks what you will do as you can see here you'll make all kinds of the hatch marks you'll start at your bottom right hand corner and you'll work your, this will be darker, and as it moves up, your light source is coming from the left-hand side. So your lightest point will be there at the top. So you'll make little hatch, hatch marks, just like I showed you, and you'll move up until that's your lightest point. So you'll go darkest to lightest and move up. The second technique we will learn, we're learning, is cross-hatching. Very similar to hat, hatching, but what that will do is it will cross over. So small little X's all over. The more that you do on top of each other, the darker it becomes. So your hatch marks are little X's just like that. And again, you're going to do them and you will move darker to lighter and you'll move up because that's where your light source is. So the top left-hand corner of your circle will be the lightest, the bottom right hand, will be its darkest. The next thing we will learn is stipple. Stipple is also known in the art world as uh, pointillism. Um, and it is just small little dots all over your page, just like this. Remember friends, the more that you do, the darker it becomes. So again, the same thing with your, with your circle, your darkest point will be at the bottom, and as you move up, your upper left-hand corner will be the lightest part. So it goes darkest to lightest, and you'll do those in stipple. The next thing we will learn is marks. Marks are very similar to our hatch and cross hatching, but they are a longer stroke. So you'll do longer strokes, where these were a little small, little dashes, your hat, your, I'm sorry, your marks will be long. And the more you do, and some of them might even cross over, they're just longer mark making. And the more you do, and the more you build up, they will be darker, just similar to that. So like I, 
I've said with the other ones, you'll start at the bottom right hand corner because your light source will come from the left and you'll move up your circle for your darkest to lightest and they will, those mark makings will look just like I just showed you. Now the last thing that we are going to learn is blending. Blending, you will start at the bottom very similar to what we've done here at the value, lighter to darker with your pencil. You'll start at the, uh, the bottom right hand corner make that your darkest area and blend it up. And you will use your finger if you have available to you at home, a Q-tip that helps also, but you can use your finger and you'll blend up to, and making sure this is where your eraser might come in handy that you can erase that. So that is your second part of your worksheet. The third part of your worksheet, you will draw two apples, one in each space like this there's two spaces here one in each space now I, I don't care which space that you put uh, you pick but you'll draw two apples one apple here and one apple here and there's an example up here one space you will draw your apple and use your value your your uh, lighter to darker value drawing and you will again start at your bottom right hand corner darkest to lightest for your apple your lightest being your left hand corner because that's where your light source is coming in. And then the second apple, whichever way you choose, you will um, do a one of your techniques that you learned like hatching, cross hatching, stippling, marks, or blending, whichever technique you prefer. And that's how you're going to shade your apple. So that is your first worksheet. Your second worksheet that is up is this worksheet. And this is just like pretty much the same thing you've done on your, your first one. You're just gonna practice and do it again. So your first one, I would like you to do lighter to darker. Your second one, I would like you to copy this techniques above it down here, just copy it. So what it is up here, the different techniques, just bring it down here. That's what you're gonna practice those. Now your last one will be your choice. If you really like to do cross hatching, you can put cross hatching. Maybe you like stippling. You'd like to try that again. But what I'd like you to do, whatever you choose, that technique you choose, you'll go lighter to darker, uh, just like you did on the other sheet. All right, friends, thank you so much. And remember, these are your examples of your cross hatching. And, and this is your value. You'll go darker to lighter. I, Mrs. Hull, I did, Mrs. Hull's apple didn't finish this. I didn't finish this. So make sure that you go lighter to darker. There's still a few areas to shade. This is just my example. So I haven't finished it completely. It'll, you'll finish it like this. But remember, pencil only. All right, friends. I can't wait to see what you create. And I can't wait to move on to the next project that this these exercises are going to help us for our next project. You're doing great. Have a good day.